driver's seat. You can see all the this is the push throttle and this is the brake. And you got the foot brake. You gotta have that foot brake because the problem with this thing is that it's the brake is dependent on the battery operating. So if there's no battery, if there's no electricity going to the motor, you won't get any kind of braking power at all. So good, good for them to put in the foot brake on it. Nice, it's nice and clean, it's lightweight, it folds up nicely. You can just take it out on the road, do whatever you want to do. I'm planning to use this to go to the, uh, to the movies, you know. Check out the movies. If I want. Yeah, it's working now, I mean. Can't argue with what it, it's capable of doing. Use it to get around. Uh, this is so much you don't have to worry about falling off of it if the battery dies. That's another thing. If somehow you lose power, you're safe. You just fucking relax and try to get it to stop. That's it. So that's one of the other things. That was a scooter will just fucking kill you. This thing will just turn back into a regular ass kick school and shit. And it has a generator breaking though. I don't know exactly how much power it gives you from the generator breaking. That's the end of that. Turn her off and that's what that's a great thing about being me. I now have an electric scooter. This is the best kind of electric scooter because it actually is fast. I've gotten scooters in the past that have been just, you know, a joke of a scooter rather than an actual scooter that you can use to get around anywhere. I've had bulky electric scooters that are, you know, a thousand watt grade, but they don't last very long. I used to take my scooter to go to work at Toys R Us and uh, that thing was just a joke, you know, it was just, you take it over towards the rust, and then you can't get back because it's a one-way trip with that thing. This thing, I can definitely see myself if I ever work at Toys R Us again. I can definitely ride it to Toys R Us, have plenty of power to get back, probably make a return trip if I left something. So that's a great thing. And it doesn't even look like an electric scooter. A cop would look at this and say, that sure is a fancy, weird-looking kick scooter you got there, pal. You better, you know, be careful on that. You might hurt yourself. I'm a cop. Ho, ho, ho. You know, kind of attitude. And, and, and they won't bother you. They won't, they won't say nothing because you don't look like you want something dangerous and electric. It's very quiet. doesn't make no massive amount of noise. So they won't know what the hell's... It sounds like when it, when you drive by, and I'm really happy with it. Um, uh, I think uh, down the line, I'll just get a better one or something. But if you work somewhere that demands you to get to work, and you don't want to take a taxi, you don't want to drive, and you definitely don't want to walk or ride a bike, and you got enough, maybe $400, throw it down on this thing. But... I recommend getting it from someone who's uh, legit and, uh, you know, uh, reputable. Because this place I got it from, as much as they're trying to help me out, they barely speak English. And the only thing I could say was, you know, I'm not, I'm tired of talking to you all day on the email thing. We've been doing this for a couple of days now. Just send me a new battery and that's the end of it. So they finally said, okay, let's send you a new battery. They sent me a new battery. And that's another thing I got to express is how damn difficult it is to put a battery into this thing. It is not easy. It is a lot of work. It is a task. And uh, I have no clue if this thing's going to function long term. It's working now. It's very good that it works now, but the future has no guarantees. So, you know, this, that's all I can tell you is that 
this thing actually works. If all these things you see on the internet about this carbon fiber scooter thing, uh, whether it's a worthy purchase or not, yeah, it's worth it. But definitely look into a better brand or brand name version. You know, uh, the, the thing is that this is called a zero scooter. Um, some other companies stole the patents to it or something. Maybe it wasn't patented. So they were able to get the designs from it. And basically, there's a million different companies creating the same exact scooter. They're all the same. They all work exactly the same. There's no difference. And they're all priced all over the map. $1,000, $500. So I got mine for, I think, a decent price, 400 something dollars. Because it is one of the best electric scooters on the market uh, right now. Um, you need this sort of technology. Uh, it will indeed help you to get around the battery is tough to replace as hell so if you're going to get an electric scooter get a one that you can easily replace the battery when necessary you know uh there's no way to get the battery out unless you take the the, the handlebar completely apart everything every screw every last thing you got to take apart take the battery out of the bottom cylinder and then you put a new battery in and that's the hardest part in the world because you can't possibly uh, get the little connectors to come through the top normally you have to somehow jerry-rig it to come through and then if you're lucky it comes through and then the worst part is trying to get the damn thing that's the, the screws into the bottom because it does not want to go down anymore because everything's been switched up and it, it's not what it once was so it doesn't go back down anymore I had to smash it down with all my strength to get it back into it and that's why I'm talking about it. it's such a pain to get this thing back together after you take it apart so uh, don't don't bother trying to replace no battery I wouldn't do it again that's the trauma that I went through I wouldn't want to put a new battery in this thing ever again I'm done with that idea if I had to do it all over again I chuck it in the garbage and because I have a job now I'm going to be working at TSA again they pay a damn hell of a lot of money, so I'm just going to buy a whole new scooter. I buy 50 of them, and I'm not going to try to replace shit. Now, these handlebars don't fold in. They sell models with the handlebars fold in. That would be ingenious if these handlebars folded in, because I can imagine you try to put this thing inside of a bag and, 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 and sling it over your shoulder. You know, the handlebars being collapsed in would be nice. So. That's what I'm going to buy when I get the money. I'm going to buy that, that, that version with the handlebars that come that slide in nicely. Um, but damn it, you know, I've never really thought we'd ever have electric scooters of this magnitude. Because everything's been chain driven for so long. They've now, they've now uh, opted for electric motors now. And, you know, the magnetic electric motor is so much more efficient than a chain driven shit. Uh... And, you know, there's no friction. None of the parts are ever going to break. That's another thing. A chain driven motor, the sprockets are going to go down bad at some point. The chain itself is going to get loose and, and not be working as efficiently anymore. You have to adjust it over time. So, this is infinitely better technology. It's much faster, too. It's just murdering the fucking streets. It's just flying. So, I mean, this is just a like a prototype or what I'm gonna get I'm probably gonna opt for a you know one of those really expensive high-level scooters in the future that's 500 watts the works gets you where you got to get because I'm gonna be working up at the airport and uh, let me tell you man to get to to get to the airport probably gonna be tough I've done it I've like I've used a I one I had a gas powered uh not a propane powered scooter and if I had this thing back then I would have gotten to work on time every time because you have to get off of the train at a certain stop and then take the bus to the airport but if you can just get on your scooter and go to the airport you don't have to worry about no bus so one day I tried to get there on the propane scooter and it was just it was just a, a massive task to get it done. Very difficult. Um, 
And of course, he probably, I don't know if I ended up late or not, but I probably did. And um, I'm just saying, this thing's so much, this thing's like, it don't weigh shit. It's light as fuck. That's, that's another point to make. It really is only 15 pounds. This whole thing is 15 pounds of weight. If you get a go go pred, a go pred, it's gonna be thirty pounds. If you get the uh, propane scooter, the GoPro, or whatever the hell shit was called, it's gonna cost. It's gonna be about thirty five to forty pounds. This thing's fifteen pounds. I could lift it with one arm outstretched. So 